I have an ambitious goal for Christchurch. I want it to be the clean, green, safe, smart city that we envisioned during the Share an Idea public engagement campaign. I want to start my mayoralty where Share an Idea left off. We have been recognised internationally for the plan that Share an Idea should have generated for the city as a whole, rather than the draft plan for the central city that was taken behind closed doors and rewritten by the central government without any input from the community whatsoever. This was, this was co-option by the powers that be, not co-creation based on engaging and authentic communication. That's what people are concerned about. They, you know, we got just hit by the earthquakes, and now look, the earthquakes have stopped us, but inept procedures are killing us. Crazy. Yeah. We need to make our council the pride of the city. It needs to be a high-performing team that gets things done. We need to tell it how it is. No spin, just the plain and honest truth. We need our communities to be involved in co-creating our future as a city. We are all in this together. Let's make that phrase real so that Christchurch is the place that future generations will be proud to call home. My reason for standing for Mayor is that I believe that we can do this. I will ensure our council is the pride of our city. I'm offering the leadership the council needs to get back on track so we can reclaim our city. We must break down the barriers to business recovery. Business as usual must stop in this city. People have said that they are worried that the momentum will stop if I am elected to be mayor. What momentum? My inclusive approach will build the momentum that we all want to see in the city. Okay, so behind me is the West End building, and this was the first building of the rebuild. Uh, and, you know, it's a, um, an interesting looking building, but of course it replaced the jeweler shop uh, and the um, Mexican restaurant that was on the top, uh, which became the kind of picture postcard for the damage after the September earthquake. What I think is incredibly tragic is that this building comes down as part of the um, as part of the transport plan, which is still in draft shape. But what it says is that Manchester Street widens. That, of course, becomes the frame over there, and this building uh, comes down because it just doesn't quite fit. This is crazy. Why on earth are we having a situation where the council's permitting uh, the building of buildings, the government then comes in over the top and makes a decision that means that that can't um, continue to be. And, you know, this is the sort of example of the things that are going uh, wrong in the city and, and actually does need the bringing together of both the government and the council so that we get some sensible decision making. My election as mayor is the mandate I need to speak for the city as a whole. The government as a whole needs to demonstrate its willingness to negotiate with the people of Christchurch regardless of who is the mayor. We need our central city to be the life and soul of Christchurch and I know I can add value to that conversation, but we need all of our communities back on their feet as well. Many people are struggling with EQC and insurers. They cannot be left to battle it out alone, and we cannot add to their burden by leaving them out of the loop as well. We must stand up for people and we must do all that we can to make sure they get the service they need and the advice that is required for them to be able to make informed decisions. We need to stand up for business. Christchurch is an investment destination in a way that it hasn't been for a very long time and we must capture every opportunity that represents. And seeing you in places yeah. in the community in those early days of being in the halls and with yeah. the families and all those things. It's such a, a moment yeah. in history. It is. And that you weren't just Leanne <laughs> at, at that time too, you were part of the community too, which yeah. is 
because you were in there. You yeah. were part of. I know, that I know. It's and, a, and it's you know the thing is, is that when I look back on all yeah. of this this time, I I mean I still already look back, and and just think of the amazing outpouring, you know, yeah. particularly from the west to the east, and how we all just came yeah. together. It was incredible. That's right. How do we use the opportunity that disaster has afforded to make these ideas part of a shared vision for our city, and how does everyone have a voice? That is the conversation I'm starting as I officially launch my mayoral campaign on a special day. It's the first day of spring. Spring is the season of renewal. It is also Father's Day. We only had city fathers when the art centre was built. We've come a long way, but we have a very long way to go. This is the most important local body election the city has faced. It is about taking back our city and reclaiming our democratic voice by giving your mayor the mandate that is needed. When the ballot papers arrive in the mail, I want you to sit down, fill them out, and post them right away. Sit down, fill them out, post them right away. Sit down, fill them out, post them right away. Sit down, fill them out, post them right away. Sit down, post them out. This is the prequel, the blessing. Bless New Regent Street. We will then say thanks for the memories as we take in the poignant photographic journey through one of the city's red zones. This is a reminder of the importance of engaging with communities rather than just making earth-shattering announcements on top of the earth-shattering experience we have lived through. It also reminds us from where we draw our strength and our true resilience, not from any government but from those around us, our families, our neighbours, our communities. I invite you to join me on this journey, One City Together. Thank you.